Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul, an international medical graduate. In today's video, I will discuss the distribution of questions, which means how many questions you might get from each system in the MCCQ1 examination. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video, and also turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This will encourage me to make more videos like this and grow this channel. Now let's jump into the video. In one of my videos, I showed the comparison between MCC and USMLE examinations and I mentioned that Q1 examination preparation is quite similar with the USMLE step to CK exam. If you haven't checked that video yet, please click the link on the top or in the description below. First of all, let's focus on the USMLE step to CK exam content or system specification to better understand what I mean by distribution of questions. You will find this chart on the USMLE website. Here as you can see it is the percentage of questions that you can expect from each system. The highest percentage of questions are from these systems such as nervous, musculoskeletal, cardiovascular, respiratory and GI and the top percentage of questions you will get from social sciences that means legal or ethical issues. If I combine with behavioral health, it would be around 16 to 23% of the total content. That's how USMLE Step to CK exam is assembled. Now let's see the system specification of the Q1 examination. Q1 exam does not have similar system specifications like USMLE steps. At least I am not aware of that. Instead, Q1 follows a blueprint. You will find this on the MCC website. Now let's focus on how does that blueprint work. This blueprint has two dimensions. One is called dimensions of care and the other is called physician activities. So the dimensions of care are four dimensions such as health promotion and illness prevention, acute care, chronic care and psychosocial aspects of care. On the other hand, physician activities dimensions are assessment or diagnosis, management, communication and professional behaviors. That is how the Q1 examination will be assembled based on this blueprint. On the other hand, on dimensions of care, around 20% will be on health promotion and illness prevention, 35% on acute care, 30% on chronic care, and 15% on psychosocial care. Now, if we look at the physician activities, approximately 45% of the exam will be based on assessment or diagnosis, around 35% will be management, and approximately 20% will be on communication and professional behaviors. Now let me give you an example how you can prepare for the examination based on this blueprint frame. For example, if we study hypertension and put hypertension on dimensions of care, we have to study how do we prevent hypertension, such as risk factor reduction, or once hypertension is established, how can we address its progression or reduce its consequences. What are the acute care for hypertension, such as hypertensive emergency or urgency? What is the chronic or ongoing care of hypertension? And all the psychosocial aspects that are related with hypertension. That's how you can structure your study and prepare for the examination. Now I hope you have a better idea about the blueprint frame. That's all for today. If you have any particular questions, please comment down below. Again, if you find this video helpful, Please like, share, comment this video and lastly, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.